Well, the federal student aid application, also known as FAFSA, is now open, and many are cautiously optimistic following the rollout of last year's form that was plagued with technical issues. Those issues left students all over the U.S. in limbo, waiting to figure out how they were going to pay for school. Now the big question is if the Department of Education has worked out all the kinks. Alexandra cohen -Yartz talked to Spokane experts and shares the changes you need to know. Kirsten, this year the FAFSA application opened after weeks of tests that ensured it would not cause the same mess college applicants went through last year. Experts tell me that so far, parents and students are experiencing an improved experience that is smooth and easy. Oh, that was much easier than I thought. I even had a family call me and say, I'm not sure if I did this right because it was really quick and they were expecting it to be this like day long sort of arduous event. This is what Don Hilsendegger, a college counselor at Ferris High School, says she has heard from parents who have submitted the FAFSA application so far this year. Quite the alternative from last year's. Just many, many glitches in the application. There were many glitches in setting up the accounts, and then there were many glitches in the university's role in terms of packaging the financial aid. Although the form is traditionally released on October 1st, this year's was delayed in abundance of caution. Now um, I was in, able to be involved in some of the beta testing and submitting with some families, and it was very smooth. So I feel really good about it. I think that they did the work that they should have done last year. Hilson Dagger encourages all students to fill out the form. Some of her other tips are to make sure both the parent and students have created accounts a few days ahead of when they plan to apply. Remember that you should never have to pay for support. If you are not a citizen or eligible non-citizen, submit the Washington State Financial Aid application instead and try to get your application in by February 1st. I promise it's not as complicated as you might fear it is and it can be done in a, you know, less like I say, less than an hour. The FAFSA can open doors to various forms of aid, including access to scholarships, federal student loans, grants, and more. The college application process can be stressful on its own. This is why Hilson Degger recommends getting in your application as soon as possible and taking advantage of resources available at colleges and schools near you. Live in studio, Alexandra Cohenyarts, 4 News Now.